Hey everyone, how's it going? As the title of the video says, it's interesting. Polaris cards are actually profitable again. So we're going to make this video nice and short and sweet. We're on hashrate.no. Let's shoot on over to GPUs. Let's go down to Polaris. And I, they even added in the 590 recently. That was not there a week ago. But uh, yeah, let's go with 580. And even before we go there, let's look at this. DNX, Dynex on all of them. And you can see the revenue and actual profit. So let's go with the 580s. And you can see number one is Dynex with a nice profit of 25 cents each. Uh, Radiant is actually profitable. Next is barely profitable. Um, Alephium is profitable. Chinet, Caspa. Oh my God, even Caspa is profitable. I've tried that personally a few weeks ago. It wasn't profitable. Now that Caspa's price has come up, it's actually profitable. Um, okay, now we're getting a negative, negative, basically break even there. Okay, so either which way, let's go with Dynex since it is the most profitable. Uh, they're saying 1190 on the core, 1900 for the memory, and an undervolt of 875. I've done a little bit better than that. And that says it will give you 887 hashes. So let's jump over to my Octo 4, which has four 584 gigabyte GPUs. And with the latest version of SRB Miner, it doesn't really matter if you have four or eight gig cards anymore. So these are 584 gig cards, Elpida RAM, and I am running them at 1150 core, only 825 on the VDD, and 1900 with the memory, um, one on the DPM and memory DPM, and just a regular Ref 20 for Elpida RAM. And you can see the way SRB Miner reports to Hive OS, it runs two separate miners, each one getting 432 hash per card. Uh, up here, it, it only gives you one number. It doesn't print out the second one for some reason. But if you hover over, you can see your actual kilohash right there. So for these four cards, I am getting 3.517 kilohash at about 365 watts. This is in an octo miner. So with that number, let's verify it and go to the pool. And I am going to uh, Eco Pool right now. Let's get a refresh. It went down a little bit for the moment, but you can see the average 3.4 kilohash. So we actually are getting the actual hash rate through here. And I do have a pending balance and it's working. So another example. For the 8 gig cards is our friend Baldini, Great Baldini. He has a nice rig here of 12 cards, all 8 gig. It's a mixture of 570s, 580s, and there's even a 470 up in here. And surprisingly, the 470s actually doing really good. But you can see the double numbers here everywhere. Let me refresh this real quick again. Again, we're only getting half the number here. Click on here. See, he's getting 10.75 kill hashes on this one rig. He also has a second rig that has five more Polaris cards, and it's profitable. So that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you have your Polaris cards, it might be getting to that time again that's worth it enough to dust them back off and throw them back on. Let me know what you're going to do down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please, and I will catch you on the next video.